Hey guys, uh, today's math lesson is lesson 118, which is dividing by two digit numbers. Uh, this is getting into some serious division, y'all, um, but it should be fairly simple if you pay attention. I will remind you before we get into the lesson that tomorrow, Friday, we're not doing a normal math lesson, you're not doing a test or an investigation. Um, what I want you to do is pick a concept that we have learned at some point while you've been at home and just give an explanation about why that concept is important for us to know for daily life. Um, you can write it, write a paragraph, type a paragraph, or even write, do a little video explaining it in your own words. Um, but that's all you have to do for Friday. So um, hopefully you watched the video um, at the beginning of the week with my special instructions for the week and you've been thinking about that um, and maybe even started on it. Um, but now let's get into today's lesson, dividing by two digit numbers. We've kind of started on that with tens and multiples of tens. Um, but in this lesson, we're gonna begin dividing by other two digit numbers. Sometimes when dividing by two digit numbers, we might accidentally choose an answer that is too large. If this happens, we start over and try a smaller number. So let's go ahead and get into the examples and you'll see what I mean. The first one is 95 divided by 31. So with this, I can just kind of think of this. I want to think of it more like 9 divided by 3. That's going to make it a little more simpler for me. Um, a little simpler for me. Bad grammar. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. And I'm going to write the 3 above the 5 right here. Do not write it over here. That's going to confuse you and you're going to feel like you have to do more. And it's going to mess you up. Okay? So you have to go over here to the 5. Because we're really thinking about 95 divided by 31. But 9 divided by 3 is 3. So now we multiply. 3 times 31. Well, I don't maybe know 3 times 31 off the top of my head, but I know 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times 3 is 9. And then we subtract like normal. 95 minus 93 is 2, and I have 3 remainder 2. And that's it. But you'll probably want to check. So I'm going to go ahead and check it. 31 times 3. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Plus 2. 95. And I did it right. Yay! So the thing with uh, dividing these bigger numbers is kind of having to think of it in a different way and try things out. So we'll look at the next one and you'll see what I mean. This one says 246 divided by 43. So I can think of this like 24 divided by 4. So 24 divided by 4 is 6, right? Now I'm going to put my 6 here because remember we have to go all the way over here because we're really thinking 246 divided by 43. Now I'm going to multiply. Now if you need to write your multiplication out to the side so that you make sure you do it right, that's fine. I'm going to do it in my head. Well, 6 times 3 is 18, so I'm going to put my 8 here, and then just imagine I'm putting a 1 here. 6 times 4 is 24, plus 1, because we had to carry a 1, is 25. <gasps> but I'm supposed to subtract here, but this is too big. So we made a little mistake in finding our answer, which is very possible. So I have to go back and say, okay, well, 6 is too much because 6 times 43 is 258. So I have to start over. So when you get an answer too big down here, you have to then start over, which means you just need to make this smaller. So instead of 6, I'm going to put 5. So 5 times 3 is 15. Again, we have an imaginary 1 right here. And 5 times 4 is 20 plus 1 is 21. So then I can subtract. So this is smaller. I can subtract it. 6 minus 5 is 1. 
4 minus 1 is 3, and 2 minus 2 is 0. Now 31 is smaller than 43, so it can be our remainder. So our answer is 5 remainder 31. Now let's check it just to make sure we did it right. 43 times 5. 3 times 5 is 15. Carry the 1. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 1 is 21, plus 31. 5 plus 1 is 6, 1 plus 3 is 4, and 2, and we did it right. So it took us a little longer because we made a little mistake in the beginning, but that's bound to happen with these larger numbers. We're almost kind of guessing to start with uh, and seeing where that goes. If it works out, great. If it doesn't, we got to do it again, and that's okay. That's why we do math and pencil. because we can erase it. Last example. It says 487 students. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that. 487 students will be assigned to classrooms so that the average number of students in each room is 21. How many classrooms of students will there, will there be? So I need to divide 487 by 21. So I could think, I could go ahead because 48 is divisible by 21. So I could go ahead and think about 48 divided by 20. That's something I could think of. Um, and that would be two. So I am gonna put my two here because I'm, I'm leaving out the seven right now. So I'm just doing 48 divided by 21. Now we'll multiply. 2 times 21, so 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. Well, that's not too big, so I can go ahead and subtract. 8 minus 2 is 6, and 4 minus 4 is 0. And this is, this is the leftover, and it is smaller than this, so we can work with it. Now I'm going to bring down. Now I have 67 divided by 21. Well, if I think about maybe 60 divided by 20, I would get three. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that and see if it works. So now I multiply three times 21. Well, three times one is three, and three times two is six. And it works. And that leaves a remainder, that's supposed to be a four, I ran out of room. A remainder of four, okay? So let's check it to make sure we did it right. 23 times 21. This is a double, double by double uh, multiplication. Three times one is three, two times one is two. Put our zero here, three times two is six, two times two is four. Add three, eight, four, and then add our four to that. And you can't see it, but that should be a seven and that's 487. And we did it right. So I know that I kind of sped through this um, I hope it's making sense to you. Uh, if, if you're still struggling with this a little um, and you don't have someone at home that can help you, let me know. I'm available and I can help you out with it. Um, but go ahead and do your lesson practice, which is A through F on page 743. Um, and then again, like always, Make sure you have someone nearby to make sure you're doing it right. Um, and I would really recommend to check your answers like we've been doing uh, to make sure you're doing it right, to make sure you didn't make any mistakes. Um, so do your lesson practice. And like we've been doing this week, take a picture of it, however you do it. Put it on Schoology so I know you've been practicing. Um, and that's all our math lessons for the week. Tomorrow you have your different um, assignment. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions, okay?